unnecessary is troubling you silver lens moving most of the problems what we have done is like a concave or convex mirror is moving now silver lens what is a silver lens silver lens is again similar to like a concave mirror only or convex mirror and you know when a object moves near by a mirror the method same thing is applicable for silver lens also so first we'll calculate the we'll replace this with an effective lens the formula will be 1 by f radius of curvature of silver surface is 10 cm so minus 5 2 times focal length of the lens is 10 Minus one by five, minus one by five, f equal to minus five by two centimeter. Okay, no. So now, can we get the radius of curvature of this? R should be equal to two f. Anyway. Not needed. We'll, we'll just so we'll replace this everything with a concave mirror. I got f negative. Now, now get into the the basics of like an object moving near by a concave mirror. The lens is moving with one meter per second. We have the focal length of this f dash. I'll call. in the book they given f no object is moving with a speed v o <coughs> this is the velocity of mirror what was the formula velocity of image with respect to mirror along x axis is equal to minus of m o square velocity of object with respect to mirror along x axis straight away directly that formula or else you should take the equation and you should derive if this is the object distance u so what are the basic formula 1 by v so this will become derivative of this derivative of this will be minus 1 by v square dv by dt Will be v i m x minus one by u square velocity of object with respect to mirror along x axis. So v i m x is equal to minus of p by u whole square v o m. So this you have to break up v i x. So choose any sign towards right positive. V M X plus one. V I X minus V M. Okay here. Plus one. Oh, we don't know V and U. <coughs> Using <coughs> mirror formula, we can find out that also. V uh, U is minus ten by three. F dash you have to substitute not that ten centimeter here. I think you have to be careful. Look at the v. Anybody v? One by v minus three by ten minus two by five. Minus ten.
minus 10 so v equal to minus 10 centimeter okay this will be minus 10 u is minus 10 by 3 whole square velocity of object minus 1 velocity of mirror plus 1 1 and this will be minus 9 minus 2 1 plus 18 19 centimeter or there's a 19 meter per second Ten plus, so it should have been alpha will be nine. Silver lens moving, nothing to do. Replace that effective silver lens with a equivalent concave or convex mirror. Then come back to the spherical mirror concept and start working the problems. Uh, my experience I'll tell you if you are taken any textbook and started reading theory gone because you see a plane mirror only to take one day spherical mirror it takes minimum one day prism one day refraction one day refraction of spherical surface one day lens one day six days only will be reading when you solve problem nothing is there and you feel that okay let me solve problem even I to know information huh? I know formula I know theory but again solving problem I have to think no so this thinking a bit you are going to miss today yesterday whatever happened happened today what happened directly straight away numerical I gave DPPs or you have so many books now straight away numericals how to take numericals pick up problems from all the topics plane mirror, spherical mirror, refraction at plane surface, prism, TIR, variable refractive index, then lens. 10 problems you pick up from all 1111. Take a time 1 hour. Or pick up 15 problems. Take a time of 1 hour. Solve it. Next again, next again, next again. I think uh, a good revision will occur.